right, so it's Saturday morning and it's yard sale time and we are in a community yard sale and we're gonna see what all we can find. Let's see what we get. So this is why you come to neighborhood yard sales because people put free stuff on the side of the road. Free car bed. So there was two free beds total. So we had to go back and get the second one because it's free and it's going to auction. Free stuff for auction, no risk, all profit. Sometimes at yard sales, you just have to buy things for yourself. Back, take you back into the day. Old school, Motley Crew. Crew, baby. Crew, crew, crew. crew. Three pairs of Levi's. They look brand new. Men's. I will give these to my daughter to put on Poshmark. Off to the next sale. All right. So with that yard sale, I bought a Mickey and Minnie cup and spoon for a quarter. I'll take that to auction. And then I got a Radica Big Seven slot. For 50 cents, those used to sell pretty well. I'll have to look that one up. Probably 10 bucks, I'm thinking. You mean you actually did You did one without looking it up? I did. Where the hell's the yard sale? And I got a free Nerf gun in the free pile. And then I got the sealed Star Wars 75201, $5, new in the box sealed. Hey, ain't this where I get kicked out of yard sale? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next neighborhood. Good thing about yard sales, kids come through with 50 cent lemonade and snickerdoodle cookies. How do we get the four? So, we're going to yard sales, and we're also watching Heather, the reseller, on our phone having a yard sale. Good That's times. like some kind of vortex, isn't it? <laughs> We're lost in a loop. The yard sales are obviously dwindling down. It is not looking good here. Harry Potter. Okay, so I want to go over some of the things that I bought today at the yard sales and I think I mentioned in my earlier video that my neighborhood had a community yard sale today and my next door neighbor had one and the guy across the street had one so I was talking to my neighbor and he said he was ready to close up shop and didn't know what to do with the rest of his stuff so I ended up buying out the rest of his yard sale I've always wanted to do that and it's the first time I've done it. So I paid 50 bucks for everything that he had and I, most of it's out in the driveway. I'll show you that after I go through all of this. But the first thing I bought today was Reed and Barton silverware set. It's like a 48 piece set. These are heavy. 12, 12, 24, 40. yeah, 48. So spoons, forks, knives, Five bucks for these. This sells really well at my auction. This could go for, I don't doubt this goes for 40 or 50 bucks, but we'll have to see. We'll see this next week. So, put that over here. Next thing I got was another sealed Star Wars set. 75201. I paid five bucks for this. Haven't looked it up, but it's probably 30 bucks or so on eBay. I like trying stuff like this also. It's a little Mickey Minnie Mouse. It's got a little spoon. P 
paid a quarter for that. I'm going to take this to auction, uh, maybe five or six bucks. You know, if you can take stuff like this for a quarter on eBay, I wouldn't buy something like, like this and try and sell it on eBay. But up there, I can pay a quarter, I can drop it off at the auction, and they'll sell it for me. Easy to do. Radica. If you ever seen your Radica games, most of these are really good, especially if they're sealed in the package. This one probably sell eight to ten dollars. I paid fifty cents for this. I think if this was new in the package, probably thirty or forty bucks. So look out for Radica. Sometimes you gotta buy stuff for yourself, like uh, Motley Crue. Back in the day, that was my band. Pick these up for a dollar a piece in PlayStation 2 games, Kingdom Hearts, Crash Bandicoot, or Coop. This was some games that was in my neighbor's uh, yard sale that I bought out. I bought all of his stuff and some of the neighbor's stuff. So I got $70 invested in everything that I'm going to be showing you later on. But this was some of the games, PS4, Red Hat Redemption 2. That's a good one. Some of these others are just filler, Fallout 4, uh, Inquisition, Destiny, uh, Mario and Sonic, Wii, Lego Star Wars, Mario Kart, that's a good one. So this will all be part of the $70 lot that I've spent earlier. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. All of these were also in the $70 lot. There's another stack. I haven't brought it here yet. So three stacks like this. You can put these in a yard sale and try to sell them for a dollar all day. You may sell one or two. So I take these to auction, lot them in one big lot, just let it fly. These sell well. Nerf, uh, drums, pick that up for a buck. Bought this for three dollars today. Um, Lego Battle Ninjago. This one's actually it's in there. And these other ones, I picked these up. The games are not in these. It's just the cases with the book: Super Smash Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, and Zelda. There's just the cases with the booklets. So I got this, that, a couple of games: SpongeBob. Uh, Bakugan and a Mario Kart book. I paid three dollars for all this. I find these games all the time. So if I can find, if I can pick these up for almost nothing, I'll do it because eventually I'll find the game. Bought two PS2s today with all the controllers, the cables, all these games. Not big money, but I paid ten dollars for both sets. Pick this up in a free box today. I think I'm gonna try to round up three or four of these, take these to auction, have nothing to maybe a dollar or so in and see how they do up at the auction. And the last thing that I wanna show you is 10 and a half pound bag of Lego for seven bucks. First thing I saw in the bag was this uh, dragon right here. I sold this dragon recently for like 12 bucks, 13 bucks on eBay by itself. So, see many figures. There's, there's no telling what's in here, but for 10 and a half pounds of Lego for $7 all day. Oh, one more thing. Train set. Super cheap, all the stuff's in there. This is definitely going to the auction. Two bucks, that's the same same auction with the $7 Lego. So that's a good deal. So that's some of my finds from the yard sales. Now let's go outside and see what I got from my neighbor's yard sale. Okay, so like I said earlier, I bought out my neighbor's yard sale. For 50 bucks and some of the stuff will go on eBay most of it's just going to go to auction so 
I like making boxes like this with tools, stuff like that in it. So that, that'll be one lot that's going to auction. There's another one that I did. It's got a hummingbird and you know, little ceramic things and a clock. That'll go to auction. I got a set of ponchos, two of those. Got four glasses that has etching of like a ship. There's four of those, a set of four. That'll go to auction. Got a walker, some crutches. I'll lot those together for one auction. Got a drill press and an old telephone. People still like those for some reason. Got a set of Boston BA635 speakers. Those will actually go to eBay. I think those are like maybe 25 or 30 bucks on eBay. That is a cage that I picked up for $2. I think that may go for seven or eight up at the auction, so that's going to go on Monday. Also, got uh, another little box that I made up, staples, stapler, pencils, I'll put that big stack of paper with it, so that'll be one lot. I got a box of cameras, have no idea what's in that yet, haven't looked. That'll be probably eBay, but I'll have to do some research on that. Got two stadium seats along with uh, like a, some kind of beach chair. I'll lot those three chairs together. There's a Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner. I haven't tested it yet, but if it works, it goes to auction. Different types of plates, a set of four, and then a set of bowls. There's three of those, and, and then some little plates with a monkey, two of those. There's one cooler here. And then there's another cooler over there. I'll lot those together. Got some electronics. There's a Panasonic. Uh, let's see, Omnivision. We looked that up earlier, and I think that's probably 30 or 40 bucks on eBay. I haven't looked up the other ones yet. I think one is a Sony 5 disc changer. I haven't checked that one out yet. Got a aerial photo of Okaloosa Island. That's going to go to auction little carrier with a handle we got a quilt rack got a homes humidifier and I've also got three heaters today so if I took those up there now I wouldn't get anything for them so I have a shelf in the garage I'll put those on there and later this fall early winter I'll take those up there they'll be free money by then two crock pots I'll lock those up in an auction. Got two uh, ceramic, I guess, Indians. Those are those are pretty heavy, so those will go as a lot. Got some metal, pretty neat metal decorations hang on the wall. Those three will be a lot. Also, here's a pretty cool thing. I got about 750 golf balls. So what I'm going to do, if I took all these up there, I would not get maximum money for the for the golf ball. So what I'm doing is, there was a bucket, well, there, was two, there was two buckets. Those are just the, I guess they're the rougher golf balls. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'm taking this bucket, 150 golf balls, and I bagged up 150 tees. That'll be a lot. And then I made a box of 60 top flight golf balls. I'll take that up there. And like I say, he's got all these different golf balls. I think there's still 600 just in the egg cartons in here and in here. And then we still got a bag of tees. We still got some more golf balls. I'll send that one up next week by itself with some tees. Also got this bed. And then there's the, the rails goes down the side and got a on the go booster seat. So I think it looks like it's, it's pretty new. So I'll take that up there. And if you saw, well, the first part of the video, I showed one of the free beds that I picked up and it was this one. Now the, so the, the blue part was, was on the side of the road. The mattress part was in the $50 lot that I bought from my neighbor. So it fit perfectly. So 
I'll take that up there like that. And here is the other free bed that was laying right next to it. So I'll take that to auction also. That'll go Monday morning. And then back here we have hose pipe, we have a edger, and we have three bags of golf clubs. I don't think anything in there is very good. It's probably some older stuff. I'll look at it, make sure, and I'll probably lot all of that together as one lot since it's kind of older. So that is the stuff on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this on Monday morning. I'm going to set all this up like I normally do. I'll make a video and show everybody how I set it up. And then the auction for all of this stuff will actually start on a Thursday night and run to the following Thursday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a the live ending for all of these auctions and I'll show you what everything sells for. So we'll have, this is going to be a pretty big auction for me. I'll probably have, I may have 70 items, 80 items this time. So that's probably my biggest auction. And this is something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to go up to somebody and buy out the end of their, their yard sale when they had some good stuff left. Okay, so we made it to the auction this morning up in Tennessee, and as you can see, I am pretty much packed out. I had just enough room to drive this truck up here. So here's the back of the truck. They got all the car beds in there, golf clubs, got a regular bed. So just a minute I'm going to take everything inside put it out and I'll do a video showing how I set everything up all right so here's everything set up at the auction uh, I got everything on two tables today a lot I write, write a lot of cards and stuff definitions so when they're bidding online they can actually see some of the cards and what it is in case the description is not good enough and they have questions but I got everything on two tables and everything on the floor below. <laughs> and then here's the other stuff. This is all the bigger stuff that I've got. There's the one of the beds, the other bed, golf clubs in the corner, and then the bed frame that I got at the yard sale that I bought out. All right, so that's it. That's how I bring everything to the auction. The next, well, this is a Monday. The next auction for this stuff starts Thursday and runs seven days. So to end on the following Thursday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a recorded live ending of all the things that sell. So you can see how that works. We'll see how much money I make on my investment. So if you like these type of videos, comment, subscribe, see you on the next video.